Hey guys, Magsy from Eat, Sleep, Surf and Repeat here and today I'm going to give you a comparison um, of the MR um, fin against this new amazing Mick Fanning um, twin fin. So um, sit back and um, let's check it out. So um, I'm, I love comparing surf products, especially fins and, and surfboards. Um, I, um, I love my favorite kind of brand is um, FCS when it comes to fins. Um, the thing that blows my mind about fins is the smallest change in the fin can provide um, such a huge difference in performance. Um, so much so it's pretty incredible. Like the, 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 and I'm talking the smallest difference, like you know, a millimeter here and there can just be such a difference. Um, but the main reason that I wanted to do this is because in the last 12 months I've spent a fair bit of money on fins and, um, and it's really hard to compare fins on a website, right? So um, apart from what a, a pro might tell you, um, it's really hard to kind of just get a, a look and a feel of what a fin might be, what, what fin A might be compared to fin B. Um, so, um, and the other thing is, and this is probably the main reason is, fins are pretty expensive, right? They're like, you know, like these mid <laughs> twins are 180 bucks uh, a set. Um, quads are over $200 a set. Um, and I get it, you know, the technology is pretty amazing. Like I said, they can make such a difference. Like, you know, growing up in the 90s and um, with fixed fin surfboards, um, you seriously don't know how lucky you are these days with fins because back in the day, you just got stuck with fins that um, came with a board and they might have had a lot of rape or they might have been kind of more upright, it's just a lucky dip really, depending on the shaper. Um, so, um, yeah, sometimes buying fins, the, the, the thing that's come with the, the fin boxes or the, you know, the FCS systems or the future systems though is lots of choice. So basically um, uh, buying fins can be a bit of hit, bit of hit and miss um, and because of that it can be quite expensive to the average guy like me and you, right? Um, so, um, you know, fins can potentially seem to broke if you keep buying fins like I do. Um, I've been using the MR Twins Plus Trailer, so that's the MR fin there, plus the trailer, so the, the trailer's about way big. Um, for about, um, in fact, I haven't been using the trailer, um, but I'll just get, it, get to that in a minute. Um, I've been using those for about three months and they're heaps of fun, so heaps loose, um, but still drivey because it's got that trailer. Um, but the trailer I actually use a Nubster. I don't use a I don't use the MR trailer. I use a tiny little Nubster, which is like a little guitar pick. It's probably about you know as big as your thumb, um, maybe about half, half as tall as your thumb as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's been really good. I've, I've, uh, it just livens the board up um, and um, and makes it really exciting. Um, the, the Nubster gives me just enough hold. Um, Twenties can spin out a bit, um, and you know I've ridden thrusters my whole life. Um, similar to, to quads, I find they can spin out. Actually, what I find with quads is they kind of um, they don't hold through their turn as well. Um, they're kind of really straight. And um, and anyway, so the, so what I find with the nubs that I, I ride it when I ride a quad, I actually ride it as a five fin. So I ride it with the four with the quads plus the nubs that, which just gives it a little bit of hold. So you can, it just it just feels um, like it's um, kind of kind of. It just holds the, the speed through the turn and um, and, and actually lets you turn. I find if you don't have if I don't have that um, trailer, it kind of turns too laterally. I guess it might be the word. Um, been riding the uh, Lost Mayhem five se uh, five seven round nose fish, and it's, and it's been heaps of fun with, with these with these fins. And, and you know, as a twin plus plus the one um, nubster at the back. Um, I've been using the H4s in my thrusters, absolutely love them. So the Mick Fanning, the new Mick Fanning Twin is based off the um, H4 thrusters. Um, you'll see, you know, it's got the club uh, tip and looks, you know, really, really similar. It's got that really broad base. Um, I've been using those for about a year, the, the H4s on the thrusters, and they are next level. So if you haven't got a set of the H4s, go out and buy them um, because you're missing out and it's going to take your set to the next level. And, and, I'm, and I'm not joking, um, they're just amazing. They, they hold through the turns, and in fact, they don't even hold through, they ex actually accelerate through turns. So um, you, you, you kind of, um, you're not using the H4s, you, you kind of you kind of disable in your surfing a bit, you know, you should go get the H4s because they're, they're super drivey, super loose, and, uh, and just amazing through the turns. 
Um, uh, so, um, so yeah, let's have a look at these twin fins um, comparison. So the first thing you'll notice is you've got the same base, exactly the same width, right? I think it's 145 millimeters, I think is what it says on the website, exactly the same. Um, the biggest difference that you'll notice though, um, straight away with the, um, with, mix, with mixed twins is this extremely straight back. Um, so for the first kind of two thirds of the fin, maybe, yeah, let's say first two thirds of the fin, um, it's super square. Um, that's gonna give you the drive. That's where all the drive comes from, I think. Um, it's like a uh, like a flipper, right? So you just, if you can imagine a, you know, a, a flipper um, uh, that the bodyboards use, um, they're super kind of square and, and super broad and, and that's where they get all their drive into, into waves um, bodyboarding. Um, the other big difference is the rake. So um, the MRs are kind of a little bit more, obviously a bit more curvy at the back, um, but the Mick Fanning uh, rake is a little bit, little bit more curvy at the front. Um, it's also about six millimeters shorter. So um, the height is, you know, uh, the height, yeah, six mil shorter than the MR fin. Um, but then with the Mick Fanning fin, you've got this club at the back. Um, so you've got this super square base. Um, you've got a little bit of rake. Um, for, the, for, the, for carving, and then you've got this uh, amazing kind of club tip, which provides the hold through your turns um, and holds that speed. And I think on the H4s on the thruster, that's where all your speed is coming from through the turns. Um, it's got a little bit of flex in it, not too much, not 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 underdone and not overdone, I suppose you'd say. Um, it's a pretty stiff fin. Um, it's the same with the MRs though, so it's not gonna be any different um, feel um, to the MRs. Um, what else? Um, just look at my notes over here. Um, yeah, it's six mil shorter. Um, flex is pretty much similar. Um, but yeah, that's about it really. The, um, I'm, I'm super stoked on these fins. I can't wait to try them. Um, if you like the video, hit like. If you um, want to see the next one where I'm just going to kind of tell you how, how good they went, um, hit subscribe and you'll get a notification. Um, if not, just come back to the channel and, um, and check it out. Yeah, cheers. Yeah.